Get ready for one of the most exciting night sky events of the year, the Tarid Meteor Shower. On the night of November 4th, the sky could light up with slow, bright meteors, and maybe even a few fireballs. These Tarid meteors actually come from two streams, the South Tarids and the North Tarids, and both seem to come from the constellation Taurus the Bull. If you look toward Taurus, near the bright star Aldebaran, and the little cluster called the Pleiades, that's where the action will appear to come from. Around midnight, Taurus will be high in the sky, making it the perfect time to look up. The Taurids are special because they're not just one quick burst of activity. They hang around for weeks. The South Taurids are active from late September through mid-November, and the North Taurids start around mid-October and last until early December. When both overlap in early November, you might see up to 10 meteors per hour under ideal dark skies. They're not as frequent as some other meteor showers, but what makes them stand out is their brightness. Many Taurids move slowly and often appear as long glowing streaks across the sky, sometimes exploding into dazzling fireballs that can light up the ground. This year though, there's one challenge. The full Super Hunter's moon will shine brightly on November 5th. That means its light will wash out many of the fainter meteors. But don't be discouraged. The Taurids are known for their fireballs, and those are bright enough to cut through even strong moonlight. So even with the moon in the way, you might still catch some stunning sights, especially in the hours after midnight when the moon moves lower in the sky. The Taurids are known for having fireball years when Earth passes through a denser patch of debris. That happened in 2008, 2015, and 2022, and scientists believe 2025 could bring another boost in fireball activity. These bright meteors come from leftover debris from Comet Enke, a small comet that's been orbiting the sun for thousands of years. If you want the best chance to see them, find a dark spot away from city lights, give your eyes at least 20 minutes to adjust, and just relax. You don't need a telescope or binoculars, just your eyes and a little patience. Look toward the general direction of Taurus, but remember, meteors can appear anywhere in the sky. The key is to keep watching steadily, 